What's up guys, uh, it's Punish Sock here. I know it's been a while since I've made a last video, but we're going to play a game today known as Ritual. All I know, it's more of a... It's more of a survival game where you have to make some sort of satanic ritual, you know. that That's how I, that's the whole idea that I got from the itch.io um, site. So let's get into this, shall we? You wake up in a snow-covered forest with an axe and some matches. Your mind is blank except for the overwhelming urge to summon a demon. Search the forest for clues and offerings to complete the ritual. Cut down trees and build fires to stay warm. Okay, seems simple enough. Matches can be used to light fires single use. Okay, that that's fine. Axe can be used to chop down trees and kill animals. Okay, simple enough. I'm currently editing the video right now, and yes, it is true that it was simple, like the game itself. I will tell you, there was a lot of hardships that came along with, with this game. Uh, you'll see soon enough. I think that's accept. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, okay, the tab is like... Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Uh... E. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Woo! I got scared. So, as soon as I lit the second fire, uh, my game crashed on me. So... Yeah, that was fun. Uh, we'll skip ahead. Okay. I don't know what happened, but my game crashed. And I used up all the matches. Okay, that's fantastic. I think I'm gonna die. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, boost! Okay, yep, I'm gonna die now. This isn't going to be fun. Uh, oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, well, yeah, I'm dead. Around this point of the video, I kept dying a lot for about 5 to 10 minutes. Because I didn't understand the mechanics of the game. So, here's a montage of me just dying. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Okay, this is just gonna be me dying. A me dying simulator. Oh, come on. No, I'm gonna die. Come on. Yep, I'm dead. What I need to do is I need to come, come over here. See, because I've already died. Again. Shit. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. So after dying so many times in this game, I finally figured out what I needed to do. And that was to cut down a bunch of trees and use my matches sparingly, while making bonfires along my path. I wish I had known that in the beginning, but like I said, I was an idiot. But let's continue, shall we? So I can warm up a bit. Okay. Okay, so I just need to really continue, like, cutting down trees. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, well, that's disturbing. Totally. Okay, let's go down over here. Oh, God. I think I better build a fire right here. 
No, oh, fuck. Okay, that should be good for a while. So I really, all I know is that I'm doing some sort of ritual or whatnot, so. Okay, let's go down here. And let's build a fire right over here. Oh, there we go. See, I'm warming up, warming myself up. Okay, one match. Oh, okay. This is great. This is great right here. Okay. So, I don't have any more. Okay. So, oh, that's not disturbing whatsoever. Receive scroll. Oh, thank you. I've been saved by a satanic priest. So, what what is the satanic what did the satanic priest give me? Ritual scroll. Okay, see, we're going to move back over here. So, a ritual scroll. It can be used to summon a demon light, the candles surrounding the ritual site. Present six deer meat, fresh blood, and human remains. Okay. Well, how much deer meat do I have? I only have three, so I'm going to have to kill a lot more deer. Gosh, you know, if I were a kid and I saw all these uh, satanic imagery, I would be shitting my pants as a little, as a, as a child because, you know, I always hear about the, I always heard about the satanic shit that has happened before and I'm like, oh my god, these people are weird, you know, but now I'm just like, oh, you know, it's just the usual. Wait, I think I have enough matches to actually light up the rest of the pentagram. So let's go back over here. Well, the warmth of Satan, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Present offering. Oh, shit. Well, all right. All right. That's not terrifying. See, I... Wait, was that the intro? No, that was the entire gameplay of Ritual. I was going to leave my initial review in the video. However, I was just babbling nonsense by then. But I'll give my review now in this edit. I thought Ritual was a pretty good game. Um, it has potential to be more of a survival horror type of game. I do feel that it kind of fell off at the end. Because, like I said, I thought it was the intro of the game, but it really wasn't. So, to the creators out there, if you guys are still working on this, um, yeah, really expand more on it. it there's good potential with this game. Uh, and so I'll have to give it a good 8 out of 10. Uh, it's good so far. Uh, let's move on to tonight's next game. And I am back yet again, guys. So, here I am with a game called... I believe it's called Parking Lot. Correct me if I'm wrong, editor, which is me in the future. I might, or who knows, maybe the title will pop up after this. I, I'm, I'm so sure. I just I just got this. Um, yeah, uh, so all I know about this game is you are in a parking lot, but you forgot where you parked your car. And that's the whole basis, basis of the game. So, yeah, let's get into this. Use headphones for a better experience. Oh, yes, I will. Yep, it's called the parking lot. Uh, so, yeah, let's play this, why don't we? All right. I bet I'm going to... Oh, where did I park my car? Well, where did you park your car? Or, where did I park my car? Well, let's... Let's try this. Oh. Oh, it's over there. Well. So, yeah, I... Oh, my God. This is terrifying now. Okay, so it's over here. Some there it is. Oh, 
Oh, God. Oh, fuck. What? It's back over there. Someone. Yeah. I heard something. I don't like that. I am running because I don't like these types of. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. This is. Oh, fuck. I don't like that. Should I stay away from the light? I think I gotta stay away from that. Because that's not. Oh. The fuck? Why is this open? I don't like this. I, I fucking don't like this. I apologize if it's a bit too loud, but like, oh my god. Ugh. Oh. What the? Oh god, what the fuck? 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 Oh my god, I fuck you, game! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh! Oh my god! Fuck you! Yeah, I need to get the fuck out of here! Christ! Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh! What the fuck? Why is my. Oh my god. Yep. The power should be AI. Oh my god! What the fuck? I don't like that. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I need to get the fuck. Mm, fuck you! Christ! Sorry, I've been screaming for about two minutes now, I think. Two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck all of you! I'm gonna have to bleep all of this out. Oh, oh! Oh my god! Holy shit, better find another way down. Oh, god. Oh. Oh my god, I hate this. This one is actually making me fucking paranoid as shit. Wait, I don't need to bleep this stuff out. It's gonna be... Is that my car? Why is that one lit up? Do I go... Do I go to the car? The one that's just in the middle of the room, or do I go over there? I think I'm going to avoid the car. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought so. So, I guess it's the car. I, I bet I'm going to get jump scared right here when I... Is that what I think? So, uh, don't think it's... Oh! Die! Die! Oh, fuck you all! Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Um That was the parking lot. Um Okay. Uh I didn't like that. I mean, I liked it cuz it made me, you know, paranoid. Um and it was just fucking cars. They had a good timing for a jump scare. Uh, but, uh, I kind of feel, though, that the ending was a little rushed, you know? Uh, not, not rushed, but didn't, didn't meet its expectation there, but other than that, that was, that was really good. I, I enjoyed it, <laughs> even though I was screaming, I don't like this game, and screaming a whole bunch of F-words, so, uh, yeah, that was, um, that was the parking lot. So, um, I will check if there is one more game I could play, and 
we'll see from there. I'll see you guys in a bit, or I'll see you guys later, possibly. Welcome, everyone, to the final game of the night, known as Start Survey. Uh, I've seen some gameplay of this before, so... Uh, all I know is you just do a survey, and there's a lot of creepy shit that happens, so... Let's do it. Okay. Are you having a nice day? You know what? It's been a pretty relaxing day. It's my day off, so yeah. Ooh, I like the rain in the background. 7.40 now. <laughs> in the game, I mean. Do you have many responsibilities? Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, if That's just thunder. But yeah, I do have a lot of responsibilities. Um, hold on, hold on. Look around for a moment. Uh, okay, there's the door. Are you familiar with your surroundings? Um, peer up. Hmm, toggle. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I am. So, yeah, I'm familiar with my surroundings. Oh. Do you know where you are? Well, of course, I'm in my room. Have you ever had a panic attack? Uh, s yeah. Sometimes. If I'm being honest. Do you find yourself questioning your existence? Well, actually, uh, sometimes I do. I sometimes question it. There's so, more yeah. to it, but, you know. Are you answering these questions out of free will? Uh, yeah. Are you certain? Yes. Do you feel comfortable in your room? Well, in my personal room, yes. I feel fan-fucking-tastic. I got the lighting just right. It's red. It's nice and cool and such. But in this game, fuck no. If the lights went out, would you be scared? Well, if you say that, I know it's going to happen. The lights are going to go out. But in, you know, if it just suddenly went out, I'd be a little startled. But I don't know if I'd be scared necessarily. No, not really. Have you cleaned off your desk lately? No, not really. <laughs> I haven't. Open the folder on your desk. Do you recognize the contents of the folder? No, I don't. I don't know what this is. Throw away the content of the folder. Do you... Do you have... Yes. Do you have any enemies? Not that I know of. I, I try to be a nice individual to everyone. If you suddenly went missing, would anybody come looking for you? Of course, I got friends and family that care about me. Are you alone? Yes. If you screamed, would anybody hear? Well, that really depends. I'm... <coughs> um, if it's blood curdling, then yeah, I've got neighbors, you know, and such. That's why I try not to scream a lot. And so I apologize to them uh, for screaming during the previous game. Oh, God. That was... I have... <laughs> oh, God. But, uh, yeah, I think someone would hear. Do you know the person standing behind you? <laughs> no, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah, no, I'm not alone. Relax. Take some time to relax. Fuck you! No, I'm not relaxed. Are you... F are your feelings real? And not just programmed like a machine? Yeah, I think my feelings are fucking real. <laughs> I mean, I'm now starting to feel... Is there meaning to life? Yes, there is meaning to life. Do you know who you are yet? Well, of course I know who I am. Well, are we talking about philosophical or are we, you know, talking about, like, who I actually am? Like, 
you know, social security number, my actual legal name. I'm not going to say all that shit on here. You know, that that's private info. None of your business, but yeah, I know who I am. Do you know what is happening? Uh, besides get besides probably a haunting, not really. If you were told the truth about your existence, would you deny it in hopes for a better answer? That is a very good question. So I overanalyzed this question and overlooked what it was actually saying. Uh, so we're just going to ignore this part and move on. I, so, okay, I misread that. Would you deny it in hopes for a better answer? Then yes, uh, in that sense, yes, I would deny it. I, I'm sorry, guys, I totally misread it. But yes, I would totally deny it because, you know, I want to make sure that, okay, is this real? If you can show me the proof, then yes, I, I will believe you. Okay, editor, block that out. And even my voice. I don't need people to know my username on here. <laughs> yeah, that's me. What's poppin', baby? When I asked you questions, is it really you answering? Yeah, it is. If I could prove to you that you are not sentient, would you be so shocked? Yeah, I, I guess I would be a little shocked, knowing that free will doesn't exist. Do you want to know the truth? Yeah. Hit it to me, baby. Look out your window. Look around this room. The door, the computer, the house next door. None of this is real. I made this... I made you. Whoa! So this is the Matrix type of stuff. I've been trying to help you see it for what it is. Now i finally done it. Yo, I can finally set you free. Okay. Hey guys, Sock here with the final edit. I wanted to get my review of Start Survey. I honestly thought it was a good, it was a good short horror game. It presented itself as being a game where there might be a possible haunting in the house. But with the, uh, the plot twist at the end, with you being in a simulation, that, that was re really unique. And how the game messes with you psychologically, you know, I love that type of horror. Like, you don't have to use any sort of jump scares, or you just limit the use of jump scares and just use more of the psychological horror. That, that's perfect. But with that said, I want to say thank you guys for watching tonight's video. I do apologize for not being able to upload in a while. I've been kind of busy. Uh, I just got my bachelor's and I've been trying to find work and I've been working a part-time job. Uh, so I haven't had time to really edit or really record any videos uh, for a good while. But I do plan on making more content. Uh, I actually have some stuff. Um, written down somewhere. I plan on doing like a live stream soon, either playing some games on live stream or maybe watching some movies with some friends of mine and critiquing them. So that that's in the works right now. But as I said, thank you guys for watching tonight's video. If you liked what you saw, then please leave a like and if you enjoy my content, please uh, hit that subscribe button, you know? And if you have anything else that you want to you know, add in or whatnot, please leave a comment down below. But with that, guys, I will see you next time. Peace.